there! It's me, Christy Nick, and we're back again for another Daily Dose of Science! Today's focus is going to be on soil. Now, how many of you out there like soil? Well, I like soil. Well, who doesn't? Soil? I am not a fan. Soil? That's like dirt, right? Like, we don't want to talk about dirt anyway. Can we like talk about something like shopping? Well, they can change the channel. Does anybody else out there like soil? Very good, very good. I, yes, I like oil very much. Oil is a good thing. No, soil. That's what I say. Oil is, I like oil. Oil make, make no, much no. money. No, no, soil. Oil. Soil. Oil. What is this word you say? It sounds the same to me. Oil. Soil. Oil. Soil. Oil. Hmm. Well, I think those last two were a little off track. But just so you know, if you like soil, you can now like soil on Facebook. Okay, moving on now. According to Daniel Hillel, the definition of soil is the weathered and fragmented outer layer of the Earth's surface, formed initially through the disintegration and decomposition of rocks by physical and chemical processes. Essentially, for today, soil is what plants grow in. A guy named J.R. Phillip called the link of soil, plant, and atmosphere the soil-plant-atmosphere continuum. This system is what I will now explain Mr. to you. Mr. Hillel defines SPAC as a concept recognizing that the field with all of its components, soil, plant, and ambient atmosphere, taken together, constitutes a physically integrated, dynamic system in which the various flow processes involving energy and matter occur interdependently and simultaneously like links in a chain. Let's break this down. We have a plant. It grows in soil, and it's being impacted by the atmosphere. transpire, that is, lose water regularly through pores called stomata, to regulate water content and cope with environmental impacts. Think of it as plant sweat. Soil holds the plant, provides minerals and water. Different soil types hold different amounts of water and minerals. The atmosphere, particularly the relative humidity, determines how much water a plant needs to take up and transpire. As saturation increases, transpiration decreases. And as saturation decreases, transpiration increases. Did you know that 90 to 92 percent of water taken up by a plant is lost through transpiration? Along with factors induced by the atmosphere, Factors of the soil can limit transpiration. High salt concentration, physical compaction, too dry conditions, too wet conditions, and other factors like general soil texture can contribute to transpiration rates. So, the soil, the plant, and the atmosphere make up together the soil plant atmosphere continuum. If this episode hasn't made your brain explode and you're looking for some light reading material just before bed, I'd suggest you investigate this book. 
Introduction to Environmental Soil Physics by Mr. Daniel Hillel. I guarantee you'll be smarter and sleep like a baby basset hound. Until next time, remember, science is all around you. Did you try putting your money in it? <laughs> 